Hello students, I am Bhageshri Vangale, MCA Department, ISMR Pune. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about the RTOS. Now I just start my presentation. Now, what is a real-time system? Real-time, it is a quantitative concept of a work measured by the physical clock. For example, flight reservation system. Means that system having a particular time or a deadline for completion, its work. Now, this is a simple structure for RTOS. The full form of RTOS is real-time operating system. So, operator, real-time system and the control opposite. Now, RTOS means what? It is an operating system intended to serve a real-time application which process a data as it's come in mostly without buffer delay. So, the system, it is said to be if it complete its work and deliver a services on a time. That is your real-time operating system. Now, this system used in a various environment where a large number of the events, mostly external to the computer system, it is accepted and processed in a short time or that process or event having a certain deadline for that. Means what? That event or that process can complete in a particular deadline which is allocated to that particular job. Now these are some examples of real-time system are listed here. Airline traffic control signal, command control system, airline reservation system, hard pacemaker and network multimedia system. There are the various applications and various examples are there where the RTOS operating system is used. Now this system can process a time requirement. It is calculated by the tenth of the second increment of a time. I mean, it is called as a time bound system because it has a fixed time and constraint. That's why it is a most popular operating system used in a various applications. Now we see why use this RTOS system because when any Event is driven with no wastage. Means suppose any event can allocate some time constraint for that. And if that event is not occur in that particular time, so RTOS, RTOS didn't waste the time for that particular event. So that's why it is mostly used. Now it offers a modular task-based development and it is used or also provide the API functions to allow the cleaner and smaller application code. So that's why for analytical processing to separate the analytical processing, it is priority, it is used. Okay, so now here there are some technology advancement of RTOS. Now first mainframes are came in 1960 after mainframe came. Mini computers are came in 1970s after mini computer. Desktop era is came. So that is your personal computers in 1980s. And from that 1980s, they started the use of embedded system. After the use of embedded system, internet era came. That is your mobile phones and Android phones in 19, 1990s. Then internet enable embedded appliances started growing. Now these are some component of RTOS. These are the various components of RTOS that is a scheduler, functional library, fast dispatch latency, user defined data object and classes and memory management. Now first we see what is a scheduler. Scheduler means what? It can schedule a various job and processes 
विच वॉन्ट टू एग्जीक्यूशन बट वेन सम प्रोसेस और इवेंट हैविंग सम हाई प्रायोरिटी सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट प्रायोरिटी शेड्यूलर कैन पिक अप ओनली दैट प्रोसेस फॉर एग्जीक्यूशन सो देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ शेड्यूलर आर देयर मिड टर्म शेड्यूलर लॉन्ग टर्म शेड्यूलर एंड मिडल टर्म शेड्यूलर आर देयर नाउ नेक्स्ट कंपोनेंट इज योर सिमेंट्रिक मल्टी प्रोसेसिंग इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एस एम पी नाउ इट इज अ नंबर ऑफ मल्टीपल डिफरेंट टास्क कैन रन पैरल मीन्स इट कैन हैंडल बाय द आर टी ओ एस फॉर पैरल प्रोसेसिंग कैन बी डन नाउ नेक्स्ट इज योर फंक्शन लाइब्ररी in your function library it is the most important element of your rtos it is an act as a interface why because it is help you to connect kernel and application code means there are the various library functions library are used in applications code which can connect a kernel and application code now next object is uh, component is your memory management in memory management the system to allocate the memory to every event program means when cpu can generate or any process having some logical address after completion its execution it requires some memory to allocate memory in your main memory right so each and every event or process requires a memory for storage now next is your path dispatch latency so we can say that it is a interval between the termination of the task that can be identified by operating system and it is actually taken by the thread path dispatch latency means what what are the process are for execution and it is stored in your ready queue so it has started the processing for path dispatch latency and your last component is user defined data object and classes rto system uses a use of programming like c and c++ which is organized according to their operations so these are the various components of of uh, right rto is now next what are the various types of rto is now so, there are the three main types of rto is first is your hard real time soft real time and third is your firm real time now first we see what is a hard real time operating system so now in a hard rtos deadline is handled very strictly means that given a task must start execution on a specific scheduled time and it must be completed within a assigned time duration means what whenever any event or any process having some deadline or having some specific time duration so hard real time system take care of that that event can completed within a assigned time duration now here example is a robot hire to weld a car body if the robot weld too early and too late then the car can't be sold why because it is a hard real time system that require a complete car welding by robot hardly on a time so this is your hard real time operating system but in a soft real time system when any process having some time duration or having some deadline but in this soft real time operating system it can accept some delay by operating system so there is a deadline assigned to the specific job then it can delay small amount of time then it is acceptable so that deadlines can handle by the softly by this rtos that is your soft real time operating system and example of this soft real time operating systems are multimedia system and digital audio system now the third type of rtos is form real time operating system now in this type this can follow the deadline as well in spite of its small impact missing a deadline can have unintended consequences including the reduction in the quality of the product means when this follow the deadline as well but in spite of that small impact it can if it can missing the deadline 
so it include the reduction in the quality of the pro product so this is a firm real time operating system an example is multimedia applications okay thank you students